Evening, thanks for joining us tonight. We're bringing you continuing coverage on the story we first brought you last night. An East Macon woman in the hospital after investigators say her husband shot her. The sheriff's office says the 75 year old is now in stable condition. Her husband, 70 year old Eddie Green Jean Williams, made his first appearance in court today. He's charged with aggravated assault. Ashlyn Webb joins us live in studio with more on the investigation. Yes, Lori, several people in this Allendale Avenue neighborhood expressed shock over this news. The Williams had lived in their East Macon home for over 30 years. Neighbors described the couple as well known in this community and always willing to give a helping hand. They say there were no red flags. The sheriff's office says the same. We obtained Williams arrest warrant today where investigators described what they say led to the shooting. Investigators write in the warrant that Williams was trying to get the passcode to his 75 year old wife's phone. The wife told investigators that when she refused, Williams grabbed his gun and shot her once in the side. This is at least the second shooting in Macon in less than a week where investigators say a woman was shot by their significant other. Wednesday, 36 year old Apollina Collins went to the Chevron gas station on Eisenhower Parkway in her boyfriend's car. An incident report says her boyfriend for the past six years got a ride to the gas station, shot her in the face and pulled her out of the car. The report says he got in his car and drove away. The, the fact that this has happened twice in this week, it really draws attention to the problem. Jamie Borman with the crisis line and safe house as well as Amanda Cook with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office say people need to recognize certain red flags, signs that the abuse could escalate to physical violence. Being overly possessive or jealous. Controlling behavior with your money, your actions, who you speak to, um, definitely isolating from your friends and family, isolating you from the outside world, not allowing you to work. Those are definitely some red flags. Borman says often a couple could appear to be in a loving relationship when abuse may be happening behind closed doors. They're holding on to hope that um, the person who says that they love them um, can be that person again, can be that partner, can be the person that they first met um, and that they aren't really this abusive person. Borman says abuse victims often confide in a friend or family member. She says to talk about an escape plan, a safe way to get away from the relationship is also important if you are that friend or family member to know the resources like Crisis Line and Safe House. They're 24 7 line 478 47 or 478 745 9292. Thank you, Ashlyn. We're taking a closer look at domestic violence statistics. Nationwide, there's been an increase since the start of the pandemic. In Georgia, family violence related deaths increased 49% from 2020 to the next year. That's according to the Georgia Commission on Family Violence in 2021. More than 200 Georgians were killed in domestic violence cases. 85% of those deaths involved firearms.